Well, good morning, gang. And uh, this is a, a welcome from the King's Polo Club in Egypt where I work. And uh, I've just changed settings so that you can see a little bit of it. Um, and I'm in the courtyard. It's a work in progress at the moment, a bit of a construction site. But you can see the stables behind us. You can see the palm trees that have just been planted. And this place very soon is going to actually look completely stunning. There's the courtyard between these two blocks of stables and there are two more blocks behind that. We've got nearly a hundred horses here, so really a lovely place to be and an interesting place to work in. But what I wanted to really touch on today is the subject that is very near and dear to my heart of how one treats your fellow players on the field. Because to be honest, I hear so often this game is a game of adrenaline, okay? And uh, unless you keep your emotions under control, you often do things on the field that, are, that, that leave a very bad taste in your mouth, you know? Um, the best player in the world back when I was playing, one Kalitos Harriet always said to me, this game is played with hot blood and a cold head. And that is such great advice. Because to be honest, um, you know, I see the high gold players yelling at their teammates when they make mistakes. And, uh, you know, I go back to a story of myself when I first started um, and I went to Argentina and remember I really wanted to do this. I'd gone and worked for a year underground in a gold mine to make enough money to afford to go to Argentina and try and start this amazing journey. So it wasn't that I wasn't trying, but back then it, Polo in South Africa was very simplistic. We knew nothing about playing anti-clockwise. Um, and because of that, my tail shots were terrible and my neck shots were bad. And I went on to play an, in a game in a club called Coronel Suarez and uh, I couldn't hit the neck shots. And I was yelled at um, by a, a player on the field for the whole game to a point that I came off actually absolutely in tears. And I was so demoralized, okay and wondered if I'd made the right decision to actually come to Argentina and if I could do this thing. Luckily, I actually stuck to it and, and uh, we, we eventually got there. But the point is this, that having had that done to me, I've done exactly the same to other players on the field when I got good. And I can remember a case where um, family friends of ours and their son playing with me, and I was playing like a fool okay and uh, getting frustrated and I really took it out on him and started yelling and screaming and behaving in a totally inappropriate way and uh, when I came the, the problem is you then come off the field and you feel like an idiot you know this kid is a friend of yours and and he's a protege and now you've got to try and justify to him you know sorry mate you know I, I was just a bit up you know uptight and this and that there's no excuse for that Get yourself under control, okay? And the big thing for me is if you are that higher goal player, suss out two things. Is the player just being lazy and not doing what you've told him to do? Or is he unable to do what you're asking him to do? Because if he's unable to do what you're asking him to do, all the yelling in the world is not going to help him. But guys, for you out there that are part of teams and things, just remember also that this is a team game and you've got to be doing your part. And if you're being a little bit slack and lazy out there and your man marking is not good, okay, and uh, you are actually not paying attention to a game plan, I have no problem with the captain of the team getting a bit strong with you and jacking you up and getting you to do what you should be doing on the field. And you've got to toughen up a little bit also and be honest with yourself about the fact of that maybe you're not doing your part for the team and in that case I have no problem with being a little bit strong but don't yell and scream it doesn't help okay and I find these days when I'm playing with teams that uh, guys really love playing with me because I'm looking for the best in them uh, I always see people as they can be not as they are at that point and uh, I love to help people on that field to get better and uh, I find that that approach really pays dividends. So um, really just uh, have a think about it if you're the player being shouted at. And I would love to hear from you guys um, out there if you've had similar experiences. And uh, please tell me um, about them. These are things that help everybody. 
and what your feelings are about this. So uh, love to hear from you and uh, I've, I've obviously expanded as much as I want to on this subject, but it'd be great to get your feedback as well. So see you in the next lesson.